one. Look at this thing. This is pretty famous a while back. Um, it's called off. And all I know about it is that there's a batter in it, I think. Even warned. Hmm. Where's my mouse? Oh. All right then. Is there no lowercase? Oh wait, there is lowercase. I just. Can I... Go back? Ah, oh, there we go. He doesn't have much of a face, does he? Can you guys hear me better? Wait, is he a dog? Oh my gosh, look at that face though. How big are his ears? Look at that though. It looks like a dog. Alright then. I'm the judge, and I am arching to know your name, dear necessary internal cattle. Well, since it's supposed to be me, I guess I'll just use my voice. I'm the batter. I'm an assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Dathmac. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Dothmark. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. I'm not to say he's correct, everyone loves cats. We rub ourselves against the legs in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer as an ectoplasmatic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I will accept to serve you as a guide through this area if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Jumped all the way up there. Yes. All right. Can I open these? Luck ticket. All right. So this is interesting. You're already uh, talking to me. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Which means the character is actually what well, he's talking about. That he's actually talking to me. He that, is he speaking out loud? Then quite peculiar. Yeah, it looks like he jumped. 
Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a plasma of a jaded being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. Do not even interrupt me in my deluded phantoms fantasism. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I have given a chance to encounter in this layer. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones in, in these territories. The risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you to these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violence confrontation? I wasn't really expecting this. <laughs> there, this here is a battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a scene combat. At the beginning of a combat, we will be confronted with a choice. We decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage in the flight of a in a classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make strategic choices in your place, making you simply a spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of a coward. I did hope this alternative. But now, it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the battle, then choose attack anew to off me with your bot. Do not utilize this innate auto function. A computer will not hold back, and I risk take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the battle, a new window opened itself on the lower right hand side of the screen. There you had the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul, a lower adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you the your will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee. Remember, that solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this slope ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. Lucky like it has been found. <laughs> But he, there is one thing you uh, have not yet addressed. I am of course talking about competences. They are generally, the, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competence leads to consumptions of competence points. So I ask that you use these scatter sparingly. Once your CP is completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you cross swords with a tougher opponent uh, before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using a riding one, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. <laughs> Appearing cryptic, cryptic 10, HP 300, CP 30, no weakness or resistance. <laughs> well, you know, not 
you now know not only all about me, but also the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its endless will always be based on the start of the battle, thus you may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already locked up for a long time. The confrontation ends ironically when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in qualification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get to your numerous submissions way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cut. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. So I'm assuming you went down the stairs then. <laughs> oh yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ, you know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe this floating block corresponds, corresponds to the symbols that you can see on the wall in some way or another. So this is a puzzle, but it's impossible to get around this obstacle. Quite big. Stay outside. So then what can I do? Is there a way to check your inventory? Oh yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bait and flappy in your tired uh, cranium. I believe the floating blocks correspond to the uh, you can see on the wall some way or another. Alright then, so... One of him, two stairs, three of these, and four of those. There's also two windows. I should need the other window. I guess not stay outside. Exertion with an eagerly awaited recompense 
makes its entrance to the scene. It's food, I guess. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a layer of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations where populous this desert of land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry, I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will nearly meet one another eventually without a doubt. Ah, by the by, take this. This object of Kuhn's name will be the key that permits you to enter zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time? Pressing the escape key. The Leo Corn has been found. Alright. Save. Wait, which one did I save at? Alright, first one. Return to nothing else. Room. Zone one and all that. What's over here? Anything over here? So I look at all these zones, but it's impossible to enter. You need the adequate zodiac zodiac card. Card what? Enter zone. Oh boy. Just gonna go ahead and save, even though I really have no purpose of saving. Train 1 is a really useful means of transport to get around zone 1. I don't know, I'm just trying to be like more of a one first. Can I not get to them? Please select your destination. Um, they all look the same though. Well, at least of the two I've seen. <laughs> If 
fact that we're giving it to the clothes in the hand. Train 2 hasn't been active for a long time. I don't know, I think I'm going to do a different voice. Yeah, a uh, visitor? I am. Uh, welcome to the smoke mines. Um, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yes, yeah, something like that. I, uh, who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by death, man. Ah, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. Eh, yeah, this voice is better. But it's a lot like the cat I'm going to change again. Um, you're at the smoke mines of Damon. This sound part of zone one. No, I don't like that. I don't know if this one can. I'm just going to go through it. Like, uh, I think this guy needs a different voice. Uh, I think this guy needs a different voice. Uh, I think this guy needs a different voice. Here we send workers into deep tunnels, tunnels metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in depths. Yeah, that one sounds better. I think I'll do something like that. Thanks to a variety of tools, we were able to put it into some bottles, which the Queen sent into other zones. The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Ah, uh, there we are, and, and so... Finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impurities? Uh, yes, there we go. There are many spectres in the mine. They're becoming more and more impressive. But, um, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines because... Because my glitch for bit video service to access them. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. There's the next tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went there some time ago. And he says, uh, he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like that, unusual. So I thought, maybe get the chief of specters. Uh, so, there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the Ag's tunnel and kill the chief of specters. Then the specters will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There, uh, yeah. Do you have any questions? No. Yeah, great! In impeccable! The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. So it's in this building. Soon I'll be promoted. I'll be supervising right now, Ma. I'm anxious for that day to arrive. Looks like you have a box over there. Can I see what's in it? Oh yes, just go below the table. Where are the two box tickets to? Uh, already. Well, well, what do we have here? Is it not Death Mark and his previous carrying Jumping Jack, the batter? Are you the Spectre's leader? Oh, <laughs> no, no, certainly not. I'm only passing through, not unlike the smoke, which is being extracted from this plate in metallic place. However, I believe I know where the wine you are uh, talking, taking for an actual plasma can be found. Tell the truth, I'm perplexed. I think this is one of those peculiar objects we call this vehicle at all. I have very well tried to approach it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I am thinking, maybe you, one who does not have a physical order, will succeed in affiliating this spiritual entity to yours. Adon Alpha has joined you. 
What an extraordinary intriguing uh, phenomenon. I must admit that I remain rather perplexed by this unexpected metamorphic metamorphic physical reaction. Fair enough, since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best usage possible of it. Got it. The chief expectors isn't here. Sorry, but I feel I have to respond in the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not across the way of a single soul in this layer. There is nothing here. This is the sort of spot which I particularly enjoy. What are you looking what you are looking for is currently located elsewhere. Ah, you hear it back. So, uh, have you killed the yes, chief of the specters? No, he wasn't there. Uh, oh, 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 really? I have uh, booker. Uh, I well then, uh, I believe that I'll have to let you go into the main gorgeous and <laughs> the regulations oppose it. All right, I uh, I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph five. So, uh, you why? The main mines are on the right. There. The phantom's down there. They keep us from working properly. But now it's break time for me anyways. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? Oh, I should probably give them the different voices, but... Oh well. You come to eliminate the spectres? That's good news. Lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. The phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, uh, mister. And besides, who has let you enter? Normally the vi regulations prohibit external visitors. Show yourself, corrupt children. I'm the voice of forgiveness. I'll eliminate your calamitous. <laughs> oh, listen. Prepare yourself to suffer my judgment. <laughs> I don't know. by my side. That's practical. Let's purify the other galleries.
and being productive. Watch the video. Um.